I know just how much our incomparable veterans had hoped to be in Normandy today to see their memorial for themselves. Despite having to watch via satellite link, this in no way obscures the enormous regard and admiration in which we hold our veterans or diminishes our debt of gratitude to the more than 22,000 men and women whose names are now permanently inscribed in stone in this place of honor above Gold Beach. As I said when I first became aware of the plans for this long overdue British memorial, it has for many years been a concern to me that the memory of these remarkable individuals should be preserved for future generations as an example of personal courage and sacrifice for the benefit of the wider national and indeed international community. I can only hope that this serves to commemorate all those whose lives were lost during the events of June 1944 and between D-Day and the liberation of Paris at the end of August 1944. May God bless our veterans, the families, and all those who paid the ultimate sacrifice as a result of the operations around D-Day and during the Battle of Normandy.